Many people ask, when is a good time to change your work sneakers? Well, for me, I, for most of you know that I uh, own a commercial cleaning company and I guess I learned the hard way that, you know, you have to change your sneakers at a certain given time, especially if it's that particular sneaker, you're using it to do a specific job or task for a duration of time. A lot of things go into play like, you know, your weight, um, the amount of uh, miles that you put on that sneaker. A lot of things fall into place and come into play when, you, when you're deciding when to change your sneakers. Anyway, today I want to talk about a pair of sneakers that I pretty much like. I hold it dear to my heart. It's called the Nike Lunar Finger Trap. This is this sneaker right here. So basically, as most of you know, I have a commercial cleaning company. Um, and what I pretty much use this sneaker for is my work sneaker. Um, I have an account that I clean it twice a week. And pretty much at the specific amount of time, the sneaker that I was wearing, which were regular uh, show sneakers, um, my feet started to hurt really bad. Like I started having like a, a sticking pain in the bottom of my feet and it was just, it was excruciating. I started feeling the pain like on the side of my calves. It, it, it was crazy. So I really can't even explain the amount of pain that I started feeling. So my wife suggested to me that I go to Walmart, purchase some insoles to put into those sneakers, into the regular show sneakers. And I said, you know what? I'm just gonna in, invest in some work sneakers. So uh, Shoe Carnival, they were running a sale where you can buy one pair of sneakers and you get half off the second pair of sneakers that you buy. So I said, oh, great, let me swing by and check it out. See if I see something over there that pretty much that I would wear because I'm, I'm a big, I'm very picky about the sneakers that I wear, you know? So I went by there and I saw these sneakers well, actually, I've had this sneaker before, but before I just ordered this one and the one prior to this one, you know, pretty much started to go downhill. So I started to feel the pain again after wearing the sneaker. And I said, you know what? This pain is coming back. Let me reinvest in another pair of sneakers. It, it took approximately about a year before I started feeling pain in my feet again. And it, it, it was crazy. It, it, you know, I said, you know what? Being that this sneaker agreed with me, let me don't reinvent the wheel. Let me just stay on what makes me feel good. Because a lot of people don't know, if you don't, you know, invest in a new pair of sneakers over a specific period of time, what happens is, is that, okay, the sole starts to wear out pretty much. And then what happens is, is your body starts to compensate for whatever uh, that sneaker is lacking. So say for instance, your left sneaker is, is you know, wearing out quicker than the right side. Now, you know, the left side of your body is starting to dip. So now you have to walk more on your right side in order to compensate it just messes up your waist. It messes up your waist, it messes up your posture, it messes up your health, and it's not good for you. So I figured that this, these pair of sneakers, they work for me. Like I said, it's the Luna of uh, Finger Trap. Um, you know, I never really bought sneakers just to work in, really. I usually used a pair of sneakers that were on their way out, maybe like something that I had for years, and if it was like scuffed up or whatever, then I would just use it for work, but that doesn't work. You have to get a specific pair of sneakers for the task that you're doing, you know? So basically, when I looked into these, um, they were pretty much saying, on, it said on the box that they were trainers. Basically, they're used, these sneakers are specifically used for weight training, uh, basketball, um, aerobics, that sort of stuff. It's not a running sneaker. So that's what you have to really, really find out whenever you're purchasing a sneaker. You know, is it a running sneaker? Is it a training sneaker? 
what it's what is that specific sneaker used for so I believe that from my experience that you should change your sneakers maybe depending on how often you use it maybe three to six months you should change it you know if you don't really use it that often or the intensity of the use is not that great you can probably push it to a year but anything after that you're going to be going downhill from there these sneakers are extremely comfortable as you can see they're nice and flexible and um I mean they're great man I didn't feel any pain for a whole year it's just recently why I started feeling the pain you know and and on the further investigation I said you know what let me see what's going on the bottom of these sneakers and let me show you why all of this pain was coming into place so as you can see I was out here wilding take a look at these these are my work sneakers look at the bottom this was just after a year, and I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not out here running. I'm not out here crossing over on guys and shooting three-pointers. You know, I am not doing the most. I'm just walking. The most I do is I'll walk my dog, get in the car, get out of the car, go into the contract, and clean, which most of these contracts are carpet for the most part but i have a contract that's um two nights a week and pretty much it's concrete floor and it's a it's a lab it's a dental lab that's why you see all the dust on it they they make teeth molds um for for um teeth and stuff like that so basically just a whole lot of walking and as you can see like this is horrible you know, I mean, you can't really tell from the back that it's really worn like that. But just look at the bottom, you know, your body starts to shift like, you know, it, it starts to shift. Like once all this stuff gets worn off, now your hips are going to have to compensate for whatever is missing from these parts. So, yes, now you see why it's very important for you to invest in a new sneaker in a timely fashion. Like I said, I recommend anywhere from three to six months. You know, if you're not doing too much, maybe a year. But if you go past a year, you're pushing it. You know, and I do recommend this sneaker. No, Nike is not endorsing this video and they have nothing to do with this video. I believe in just making a video about something that I feel is a good product and I, I believe that it would help um, the, the community out there. So, if you like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe. Please click the notification bell so you can get all my videos. Thanks.